Okay, folks, caught up doing something else. 45 minutes to an hour since I last spoke with you. I've carried the mold in here to the molding bench. We're going to try to shake this part out. Now, before we do that, this... Okay, the way we, the way we do sand casting, to, to cast a part in the sand, you have to make a cavity in the sand in the shape of the part that you're trying to make. Okay? To, to, make, to make that cavity, you make a pattern of the part in wood. Anyway, this is what we're making we hope is going to look at least similar to that. Okay? Just to know, just to let you know what our goal is in here, okay? So with no further ado, I'm sorry that wind is blowing in this back opening here in the carport slash shop and Probably hitting that microphone would be my luck. But we'll try to make this short and sweet. Get on about our business. Looks like the part's going to stay in the top. Okay. I know the suspense is killing you. That's what we do, see? That's just even a flask now. This is called a flask. This is a drag. The bottom part of a flask is the drag. And this is the coat. Okay? And that's still somewhat hot, so I'm going to flip that over and just kind of, yeah, push all that out of there. Shake all that sand out of the flask. Judging from the sound of things, I would just love to have a chicken dinner. Anyway, I want to break all the sand off. The sand, this is green sand. And basically what that is, is this, at least this green sand, is a mixture of... Just in my case, because I'm too poor to... <laughs> too poor or too cheap, whichever you want to call it, to pay for sand when, you know, less than 10 miles away. I've got a river, and it's got all kinds of sand. So, this is good old-fashioned river sand. mixed with bentonite clay. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with bentonite clay, bentonite clay is, well, among other things, it is the primary, it is the, if you use, if you have cats at home and you use clumping cat litter, that's bentonite clay in most cases, or at least a good portion of it. I think it's 100% bentonite clay. At least mine was, because I went up there to the dollar store or Fred's or somewhere and bought me a, about a $10 or a 7 or $8 box, about 10 pounds I guess it was, of kitty litter. Brought it home and crushed it up with a hammer. Okay, now, if anywhere we've got metal here, around the edge. See, there's a sprue in the riser. We cut those off with a hacksaw. No big deal. Here, looks like some sand washed in or washed out or something. Um, so far, so good. Uh, I'm looking at this part here and really the only thing about it that concerns me is even though we did a sprue and a riser and all that good stuff, we've still, I don't know if you can see it on camera, See right here? See that sink area right there? See that? Now there's a chance that I can machine this off nice and flat. And there's a chance that I'll be able to machine this down a little bit and save that. I can't take a lot off of it. But if, if, if this is all flat around this, right there where that sink is, there's going to be a little tunnel there. 
and where that tunnel is our lead screw our lead screw is going to go through the through the end this end or this end I can't remember I'll have to look at the plan again but it's going to go through the end one end and into that tunnel and the lead screw is going to go into that tunnel when we move the cross slide back and forth okay so if this sink area is going to be part of that tunnel then it's not going to hurt a thing okay so the better if you're going to do some sand casting bear in mind the better sand that you have okay the finer i'm sorry not the better sand the finer sand that you have the better your parts are going to come out looking okay that's just uh one of the you know that's just a given uh, it's looking like this part is in, other than that little sink area, this part is not in very bad shape. I know you can't see me here. I'm looking for my, I've got a precision straight edge here somewhere. There it is. I want to see if, so sometimes when you have a sinkhole in the part, it makes it look like the part itself is, not straight or not flat we always have to scrape a little bit okay let's see here i lay that on there and i see maybe a couple of thousands but this is not see this is not it's you know see it's rough there okay well that's going to have to be filed and sanded down a little bit anyway because what's going to happen is the clamps there's going to be a clamp here and a clamp here and it's going to clamp clamp down on a quarter on the ways that are uh, it's a piece of three inch wide by quarter inch thick cold rolled steel and it's going to be clamping down on that okay so let's see what's happening over here now there is a lot of steps a lot of steps that have to be done to this part. Okay. So that's going to have to be. Okay, there's a lot of steps that have to be done to this part before it's ready to use. Okay, there's a lot of scraping, a lot of filing, sanding, what have you. This all, all this area in here. Okay, that's the area. That's that's a bearing surface right there and right there. This one's not too bad. But see here, we had a. See here, evidently uh. We lost some sand there, so that's all going to have to be cleaned out because this is actually a bearing surface here, this vertical surface right here, right inside there, and it's going to run on the edges of the way. See how that is going to it should be just like this one here. But uh, we will, I'm going to do a little work on it and see just what's up with it all and see if it can be saved. And if so, get to work on it and I'll try to show you. As I go along, some of the steps that have to be done next, but first I'm just going to do some things off camera so I can determine if I want to try to use this casting or if I just want to cut my losses now and throw this back in the pot and melt it down and re try to recast. So I'm going to cut the camera off and I'm going to go check this out and see what I can do with it and uh, we'll get back with you later on.